Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new, newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, then the, then the NASDAQ, and then we're going to look at the big tech stocks and as you can see they are fairly mixed some of them have been doing really well for example netflix has been uh, is up one percent otherwise it has been not been a very active day so we'll start by looking at the s p 500 and as you can see we are pulling back quite a bit we are down at the current stage minus point uh, zero point two three percent and uh, it was fairly expected and the main reason for that is because we are getting very overstretched here in the bullish band and we could expect this to pull back towards this trend line that is uh, give or take around the 4000 or towards the 20 exponential moving average here in the middle of the bullish band at 3964. Technical indicators otherwise for the S&P 500 are very bullish so the MACD is bullish the RSI is well fairly flat but still uh, yeah, it is flat at this current stage. Uh, CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and we are significantly outside here at the bullish band. So, uh, yes, usually when we get this far outside of the bullish band, for example, here, we pull them towards the middle or we pull back all the way to where the very bottom. So, if we were to do that in this case, then we would drop, uh, give or take, towards the middle. It's uh, 3,955, and the very bottom is at 3,860. So that is a big drop of roughly 5%. But uh, at this current stage, uh, drop towards the middle will most likely be um, expected at this point. We could, of course, rally, uh, but that only means that the drop will be that more significant. So long-term target here, or more maybe the short-term target here is most likely 4,200, which is uh, basically at the top of this channel. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So as you can see, the NASDAQ has also pulled back uh, a bit. We have basically been rallying since the bottom here at 12,655, all the way up towards um 13,654 so that's a rally of uh, of a give or take eight percent so you should expect a pullback from here we are most likely going to have a crossing of these moving averages indicating bullish momentum uh, but if you just look at the bullish band here we are significantly outside we were outside yesterday we rallied a little bit today and now we're starting to break down so a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band for example at 13,050 or even the bottom of the bullish band at 12,600 that is also possible at this point so for 14,000 that is basically the target that is very close to the all-time highs here uh, but at this moment, we are getting way ahead of ourselves. Technical indicators otherwise are all very bullish uh, for the NASDAQ. And if you look, for example, in the, the cloud for the NASDAQ, we can see that we are now no longer um, underneath the cloud. We are basically above the cloud and basically in, in, uh, in uh, a bullish trend. So we were in this bullish trend, it broke down below the base of the cloud, and uh, now we have basically resurfaced above the cloud. We have a um, um, buying signal right here, which, uh, which uh, we have the crossing of the 6 and 26 uh, moving average, and since then we basically have been rallying. But as you can see in the bullish band, we are getting fairly ahead of ourselves, and we should expect this to fall um, at least uh, towards uh, four, uh, 13,000 before going higher. But that is to be basically to see, be seen. Uh, it has been an amazing run the last few trading days. Uh, so at this current stage, we'll just have to see how far this basically falls. But at this current stage, we are trading in the daily chart above the cloud. And that is a very bullish sign for the NASDAQ. So if you look at the big tech stocks, we can see that Apple is up 0.13%, 33%, sorry. Um, technical indicators for Apple stock are all very bullish at this point, but also here we are getting fairly overstressed. We are getting outside of the bullish band. So a pullback towards uh, 
around the middle at the 122 that could be expected for Apple stock. So I'll break above the 50 moving average and then of course then we will go significantly higher. So the all highs here are give or take 145 that will probably take some time before we go back to those levels. So Amazon is trading above uh, basically all of these moving averages. Also here we're getting significantly ahead of ourselves in the bullish band. A pullback towards uh, give or take 3,100 that should be expected at this point as we are getting significantly outside. Last time we were outside was basically here when we basically fell all the way towards the bottom of the bullish band as a drop of up to 16%. Not saying that that is going to happen now, but pullback towards the middle of the bullish band could be expected. Technical indicators otherwise are all very bullish, so it may take some time before we see that um, this stock uh, fall towards those levels. So it just became negative at the moment, but we're basically nothing really has been happening there. It's basically momentum has stalled. So M Microsoft had also a massive rally here of give or take 8% the last four trading days. And now we're basically pulling back. So we could see this pullback towards uh, the uh, 20 exponential moving average at uh, give or take $238. And that's a drop of 3. Uh, uh, five percent uh, before in continuing higher so we are basically in all of the stocks in uptrend but they are they have been rallying the last few trading days and are basically over uh, stretched at this point and therefore they usually snap back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher technically guys otherwise are very bullish so it may take some time before this basically drops to the other side so we have facebook so facebook has absolutely have been a massive rally here from $254 all the way up to $311. So that's a rally of 22%, um, basically from the beginning of March until now. So basically, uh, in a month, it has rallied 22%. So at this current stage, uh, we could expect this to fall back towards uh, the 20 exponential, which it bounced off the last time. And that's a drop of, give or take, 6.8% before continuing higher. It's no really expectation that this should fall apart here is just that we are getting outside of bullish band and we are on the edge of being our bot and therefore it could pull back towards the 20 exponential technical indicators they are uh, bullish but are signs that they're basically turning around stochastic is turning around here still above the signal line cci rsi is turning around cci is bullish at this point and the macd is bullish so pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher it's a drop of give or take, um, give or take uh, six, seven percent, and that could be expected at this current stage. So Tesla, so Tesla has basically fell all the way down towards the 150 moving average. So it fell 40 percent um, in only a matter of few weeks. It has recovered some of those losses. It basically rallied. Give it a 31% uh, since then, but now we are running into resistant here at the 50 moving average. So we're trading just at the 100 moving average. We are basically ran into the top of the Bollinger Band. Um, if we break above the 50 moving average, then we are most likely going to head back towards these uh, previous highs here. But otherwise, we are basically uh, just staying right here. And um, if we break below the 20 exponential, that could open the door to the 150 moving average. Technically, uh, for Tesla, they are uh, fairly bullish at this point, uh, but uh, there is a lot of resistance around this area here, as we basically have seen in the past. Running into the 40 and the 20 exponential have basically broken Tesla back down towards the 150 moving average. So it is to be seen. We need to break the 50 moving average in order to get back to these all-time highs. So... Google um, also had uh, quite a nice run the last few days. It rallied, uh, give or take, 11%. Now we're running into um, to quite a lot of resistance because we are significantly outside here at the bullish band. We are also overbought in 72. Technical indicators otherwise are, well, they are still bullish, but they are turning around. So expect this is expected to fall back towards uh, the... 20 exponential, um, that's a fall of give or take, it's 5.6% uh, before continuing higher. So last and least this is uh, Netflix. So Netflix was above 1% and then it basically has given most of those gains back and has created this inverted basically in hammer air. 
So it also was way outside of the Bollinger Band here. And now we are most likely going to see this drop back towards the $520 range before going higher. Checking in the Gators for Netflix are still bullish, but it is getting overstretched. We are still very low in the RSI, but we are significantly outside outside here in the Bollinger Band. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.